Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how you update the Impervada connector for Airbag Hyper Drive and the agent on the Citrix uh, image where Hyper Drive is installed. So we're going to take a quick look of the current version installed here. We have uh, Epic Hyper Drive installed and in Provider Agent 7.9 Hotfix 6 and the Epic Connector for Epic Hyper Drive here. And today we're going to update these two components. First, uh, we're going to go to the registry. Gonna go to HK local machine software, and then SSO provider. We want to um, make note of the most crucial part of this is the co-branding, uh, whichever the logo you have set for all your uh, end user and partners to see the, the logo when they see the proof ID uh, window box. And the other crucial one is the device manager setting here. Uh, make note of all these uh, settings and also the ISX agent uh, setting in here. Mostly the type 3 agent here that we need to be set on the Citrix um, Go image. And depends, um, you know, if you're using fast user switching in our environment, we do. So we set this to three. Um, but in the um, hyperdrive install uh, user guide, they recommend to set that to one. So that's the difference for our environment. And we have the hook uh, I need set for the application uh, hyperspace.exe. Now we can make a copy of the registry backup by exporting this. I'm going to export it into the wherever you like, see or the, in my case, in the temp folder. I'll put the date. And I'll save it there. I'll minimize access this out and I'm gonna browse to the installation tab. I'm gonna make another window here. I'm gonna browse to my installation pad. Gonna copy the latest connector, the script, and the latest agent matching the appliance level uh, version. Create a new folder in here. So the temp. I'm gonna drop it in here. So what we have in the installation script is the setting here. You can adjust the version number here, uh, reflect to your environment, what version you use, and the log file here that's reading out for the install and the registry that we use for fast user switching skill workflow. And also we add the hook uh, in it uh, here. And then here we do a restart after the installation complete. 
So to execute that, we can uh, click start and look for CMD. Right click and run as administrator. Select yes here. We're gonna do D temp. And then we do D enter. Gonna look for this. Um, so we're gonna type IMP and then we hit tab key on your keyboard. Then we hit enter key. Gonna let this run through the install. The agent uh, almost finished installing here. There should be another CMD uh, coming out We're doing a couple of things. Okay, and it run the restart and we just need to click close here. Let the server restart. I'll be remoting back into the other server that finished install to validate. When you remote into the server, make sure you use the AD account with admin privilege. Now with the validation, we can uh, right click on the start menu, go to app and features. We can uh, check the version. The agent is on 23.2. Connector also on the target version that we're updating to. Now we need to check the registry. Making sure all of our setting uh, doesn't change. SSO provider, I'm gonna check the logo, make sure that doesn't change so our provider and partner doesn't freak out. Device manager that stay the same and ISX agent. The crucial setting, control ISX agent startup 3, agent type 3, and or server address. And that looks good to me. So we close that out. One other thing I want to validate is going to the Citrix connector installation pad, C programs. Citrix, C program, Improvider, then Endpoint Agent. We'll see Epic Connector folder in here. So you want to make sure there is about 32 items in here. Sometimes uh, you do an upgrade and all the file in here, some of the, the file missing, so you got to do a clean uninstall and reinstall again to make sure has in the file in here. So that looks good. We're gonna move on. Test uh, launching Epic Hyperdrive. Gonna go back to C directory program file x86 because uh, all Hyperdrive is 32 bit version. Then Epic Hyperdrive version independent. Here we gonna right click on the icon here, send to desktop. And we can do properties. And what we wanna add here is uh, env equal whatever your test environment call. So I'm gonna try connect to our test environment here to test the connector on this image. So we can launch this now. Okay, and you can see this message in the program performing authentication. That is the improvider connector piece. So we know that the connector is working when you see that line. 
If you find this video helpful, please uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Now we can notify the Citrix team to seal the image and publish it out. And then once it's deployed, we can test it on a user endpoint device.